Why, hello there, ladies and gents. Today marks a special day for the new era of this channel. A new beginning for Nobi Grant in the form of new sprites. That's right, folks. Today we're going to be using new sprites from now on. Now, the thing is, this is not going to be like a 100% uh, <clears throat> transition to the new sprites because there's still a fuckload of things that I need uh, commissioned in order to use my old sprites without using my old sprites. So, like for example, I still have to mix some for uh, Nefarious and Mage Nobi and all that stuff. So until then, we're gonna be using these new sprites, but at times they're gonna be um, we're gonna be using the old sprites as well, depending on the situation and such. But yep, what a lovely day for these new sprites to emerge for our lovely cities over here of Yumineko. This is where it will all start, ladies and gents. So I would like to thank uh, uh, Ariaki. Uh, the one who made these lovely, lovely sprites. They are so lovely. You should totally check her out. If you want to uh, have her do some sprites or fan art for you. And I also like to thank uh, Sobata and the Sky for the love and support for commissioning these babies and such. So, yep. Without further ado, without uh, prolonging this introduction long enough, here we are to continue Yumineko. of the single truth, sealed in crystal by Bella. Until I undo the seal, I cannot even stick a key in the keyhole. Anta ni wa tokeru no yo ne, sono fuin. Mochiran. The fuck? They were in a vast, dimly lit space. My god. To sum it up in a phrase, it was like a trench in the ocean floor. Okay. <laughs> Again, going back to uh, what I was talking before about the modeling and such, I've shown you like uh, uh, my uh, attempt at making that book and the key. And I did start uh, like trying to make a little bit of uh, Kinzo study. Uh, as a as a side project of mine, like probably like the biggest project, uh, like personal project that I've done, and I did like two of the bookcases, and that included making like uh, each book look, uh, for the most part, differently from one another, like different colors, different patterns. My God, imagine trying to make this <laughs> like well, okay, imagine trying to make this gigantic. Uh, place like bookcase place of some sorts like all this but the good part is that the books repeat themselves like a lot so yeah it's actually quite a lot better like you can duplicate those books like easily uh, but yeah going back to our story over here what the fuck is this place no that's not quite right it was a library what is this like the like the physical personification of all the stories in the entire world? My god. Like all the fiction that you can imagine. Is there like manga here as well? Can we read all the manga in the world here? Oh my god, this is gonna be... This is paradise here. However, the number of books and height of the show vastly surpassed all those that exist in the world of humans. Unless... My god, are you telling me this is like all the fragments of the Rokenjima massacre? Like all 2 million 500 and such fragments? Wow. If height is the measure of greatness, then the gods must surely have been giants taller than mountains. This place appeared to be a library big enough and grand enough for such gods. Each individual book was no larger than those from the human world. However, the shelves holding them stood like walls of a valley or a deep sea ocean trench. So, Angie and the others looked like little more than a few small butterflies uh, who wanted 
who had wandered into this vast library. Who is the librarian for, for this place? Like a minuscule deep sea fish swimming about all alone in an ocean pit. ひなたに置いとくだけで時間をかければ勝手に解ける程度の脆いものごめんね家庭科は一なの when Gastel whispered from the dark ocean pit deep below them, several emerald green glints appeared and gathered like a school of fish. And Gastel threw the book of the single truth down to them, and only after several seconds passed. And the school of fish seemed to get around it and carry it away. And those few seconds made it clear just how deep this bookshelf trench went. And you was once again dumbfounded by this unimaginably vast and golly library. <laughs> And you suddenly gripped the golden key in her pocket. And this journey has been so long and so strange. In search of the truth from 12 years ago, I left my home, met President Okonogi, met Tamakusa. And at some point, that adventure became part of a witch illusion. However, here I am. Ushirume Aeba's diary is here. The truth written inside it is sitting right before me. しばらく休みなさい。私もあんたの相手だけをしていられるほど暇じゃないの。別に疲れてなんかいないけどね。エリカ、エンジェにお茶でもご馳走しなさい。Erika popped into existence out of nowhere and bowed to her master. Belun Castel, Moshi Antaga, Watashio Umaiko to Rioste, Honto Kagio Ubao to Kanga to Irunara Tadaj Kisama Wagarji Mukatin Antecchio Gomena Saine Major to Zuibun Nagaku Yariate to say there. For some time, Angie considered the witch's words, searching for some sort of trap hidden within them. There was no greater guarantee than the right truth given by a witch. Angie understood this well enough. If one did start to doubt even this red truth, there would be nothing left to trust in this entire world. If one began to suspect even this, the thing with the truth would no longer be truth. <laughs> She would need Ben Castell's help if she wanted to read the book of the single truth. And she finally realized that she had nothing to gain by complaining more and annoying this witch further. Ben spun away from them, then vanished to the dark bookshelf trench. And she saw a school of emerald green fish appear and fall behind the castell. Could those be her familiars? 
as she stared at the amount of lights that resembled some sort of deep sea fish. Angie was poked from behind. What is it, Shorty? Alright. The pair began to swim in the direction Erika indicated. Swim seemed a better way to describe what they were doing than fly would have. ここは何なの？図書館と呼ぶにはあまりに広大すぎるわ。どうせ覚えられませんから、図書館とでも呼ばれたらどうです？覚えるかどうかは私が決めるわ。言いなさいよ。Ah, so it's so it's veterans, eh? Yappa, Tosho can de Iwa. You to my master. In the city of books. Yeah. The name fits. The bookshelves on either side of this canyon are skyscrapers. And the number of books inside this library is as huge as the number of people in New York. If I think of those emerald green lights flying beneath us as headlights on a highway, then this really does seem like a city of books. <laughs> これら一冊一冊が重厚な群衆劇をまとめたもの。ここでは本に見えますが、本を開けばそこには本当に世界があるのです。私たちの長い物語もこの中の一冊でしかないのね。So basically we can have like an infinite number of episodes for you, Mineko, eh? <laughs> nice. I'm going to be able to go through this even at the age of 50 or 60. When I become old. Here I am for episode 1065. Haruka From the feeder girl's perspective, our individual lives are hardly worth anything at all. If they're writing down an entire world in a single volume, then my life probably isn't worth a single line. Man, entire world. <laughs> Furudo Erika has her as her own um, protagonist in uh, in a Yumineko side story. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Like, I do have to say, in episode 8, uh, Erika does throw some wisdom in comparison to previous episodes. Is that just me? They were on a balcony, which was really a room-sized section that had been dug out of the bookshelf, with no guardrail along the cliff. It didn't go in very deep, making it look like a room that had been cut in half. It was filled with the tools of everyday life, as though this was Erika's hidden house. わが主より
それやったらお抹茶を振る舞うわよ抹茶なんでもないわこっちの話ギノニガカヤシメティアンジュルドンアポンドバザーオドワーディシーブロー Until e r i c a finished getting the tea ready the scene held Angie's gaze like it was sucking out her soul こう言っちゃなんですけど何真実を得るために命を投げ出す契約なんてよくもしたもんですね生きて何かするあてもないなら私にとって残りの人生を投げ出すことなんて対価としては安いものだわ我が主も物好きな方ですこんな無気力女の無価値な命と引き換えに契約なさるなんて And you chuckled, not bothering to argue. And that was exactly right. How incredible that Ben Castell would lend her power to a worthless life that was trying to throw itself away. Well, the Arji was a kiss of you, Tsukasato, the Major Descara. Dakara, Anta Mita, and the Mukachina, or Nanomani, Musugata, or Aravasuna, the show. So, eh, Berun Castell got out of an octave. 私はあの日あの虚空へ一歩を踏み出していたのだから安い女じゃああんたにはそれだけの価値が私ですか<笑> The way Erika c a c k l e d with disturbing Still, Manji realized that this was her way of answering the question. The fuck? People don't become witches of their own choosing. If they're capable of living, all people want to live their lives as humans. When something comes up long to trip up their life, that's when the road to living as a witch opens. Yeah, aka Erika just falling off the boat without a. without a floaty. So, yeah. That's how, became, that's how she became a witch, folks. Even t h r o u g h the Erika, who calls herself the Witch of Truth, must be like this. The two witches of truth, sitting here drinking tea without even looking at each other, are exactly the same. I like to make the truth. I like to make the truth. I like to make the truth. どうしてバレたんだと青ざめるのを見るのが大好きなんですその瞬間私は真実に至ったのだと確信し甲骨を覚えます趣味の悪いやつじゃああなたにとって真実は何だと言うんです What the truth means And she was about to give an immediate answer, but she bit her words. And as she did, not knowing the right way to respond, no further words came. After all, to Angie, the truth itself was the goal. At first, he was out of hatred. Could u s h i r m i a Eva, the sole survivor of Kenjima, be the culprit behind everything? She hated Eva. But she had no proof that her aunt was the culprit. And of course, Eva never talked about what happened on that island. So at first, in Angie's eyes, the truth meant proof that Eva was the culprit. I r e m m e r that feeling withered away with Eva's death. Now that Eva was dead, even if Angie did find some kind of proof, it wouldn't mean anything. So. Eventually, the true f a n g i wanted to find became nothing more than a simple desire to know what happened on that island that day. However, one thing was obvious. Even if she did find out the truth, that wouldn't bring any of her family back to her. Yeah. 
あんたこそ意味がわかりませんエリカ left マークアンジー left too as though she agreed だからね私にとっての真実は目的に変わったの生きるための理由とでも言えばいいのかしらうん、mm. yeah. In which case I would go with the opposite of that kind of mentality Truth no longer became a goal of mine like a long time ago and there is no reason to I mean, and there is no way of me having it as a reason for living So that I can find the truth in whatever story I'm going through, whether it's here or somewhere else. Like, if I had to die just so I can find the truth, then. Phew. <laughs> そんな私に最後の瞬間くらい願いを叶えてくれる魔女が現れてもいいとは思わない<笑>ぶっちゃけると生きるのにもう疲れたの一言でようやくできちゃいますねそうよだから私の存在も生きる目的も何もかもが無意味一なる真実の書にたどり着くという目的はそんな私に人生最後のちょっとしたきらめきを与えてくれたわその一点でだけベルンカステルに感謝してるわなるほどバトラはあんたに生きてほしいからあんたの死ぬためのゴールを隠してるわけですねうーんバトラさんに初めて登場します。妹は選べないですからね。Sorry, お兄ちゃん。I'm tired of life. Twelve whole years. I've been living off nothing but the illusion that someone might come home someday. Just let me find peace already. Find that truth of that day. I decided I'd use that to mark the end of my life. Beller said that Angie will know what to do with that key. And well, there are options. I'm gonna say that finding this supposed truth is an option that Angie had as well that Beller did take into account. It's just that the way Angie handles the decisions is what matters to Beller in this case. It's not that he would prefer Angie to choose one thing over the other. I mean, uh, actually. He would, but what is important is for Angie to get into the right mentality. Because, you know what? Fine. You can open that book, as I said before, but as long as you don't have the right mentality, then it's, it's pretty much no. That or. Hmm. For 12 years. I believed in a miracle, but there was no miracle. I won't believe in miracles anymore. Eternal真実の書内心は私も興味津々でしたがそんなあんたの人生のピリオドを扱いじゃ大した真実は記されてなさそうですねそうね最初は経典同士の何かが記されているかもと期待したわ
きっとそうなのよ Angie was already starting to realize something. Regardless of why Eva decided not to talk about what happened, the real events of that day probably weren't anything earth shattering. Some sort of malfunction made the bomb in that secret underground base explode. Yeah, it was just an accident. But the public believed and hoped that some sort of plot surrounded the events of that day. Eva was a suspect herself, so she could claim that nothing strange had happened until she was blue in the face, and no one would believe her. Of course, this included Angie. In that case, shutting up like a clam would just make things easier. It was hardly surprising that Eva chose to say nothing. <laughs> けだるい疲労感があるだけ。真実の魔女は真実の耐える力があるからこそ、真実の魔女なのです。She does say something. So, Nere, what does she want? Dareka got quite the Kurukam Shirenai to you, Gensoni, Juni Nemo Sugata. What does she got? さあ、契約に従い、ベルンカステルがちょんと私の首でも鎌で買ってくれるんじゃない？あるいはまた引きにくかしら。Oh no. You know, some demons would definitely enjoy the Angie Porker, but I don't think I wanna. I myself would wanna go through that again. 今度こそ。塩と胡椒を練り込まれるわね。With <laughs> some tomatoes and some cucumbers, some cheese. なるほど。だから引き肉なわけですね。Oh, you just found that out like right now? <laughs> it is a blast. 何か言った? いえ、何も。Angie listlessly gazed down from the balcony with no handrail. Down into the darkness of the abyss at the bottom of the bookshelf for a view. No, the gap between the bookshelf skyscrapers. From the beginning until the end of my journey, I haven't taken a single step away from this spot. Yeah, safe to say this makes a reference to to 1998, like being on top of the skyscraper, like looking at the city down below. And this journey of mine, not even a single step long, will end soon. Like it's. Like I can mention, like once you find out what is inside that book, you will end up dead, aka falling into the abyss. Like the abyss that you looked into from that same place, from that same place with the handrail. あの底を流れてる光の行列は何？ああ、大アウローラ教のパーティーの百人たちの行列でしょ。A group of guests。百人。元老院の大魔女たちや退屈から逃れる永遠の旅の途中の航海者たちや。
数百年の眠りより目覚めた偉大なる大魔女たちから未来世界を牛耳る魔女や魔女狩りの貴族たちまで今夜は大きなパーティーが催されるようですよお誕生パーティーでもするの無限の魔女大ベアトリーチェ卿は辺境の魔女なれどその優れた魔法体系により無限の物語を生み出す無限機関ベアトリーチェの猫箱を生み出した天才魔女だそうです私からすれば爪の甘いまぬけ魔女なのですがどうやら大魔女の世界ではちょいと知られた有名人のようでベアトリーチェの誕生会でもやるわけうーんそうじゃないですか一なる真実が存在しないから猫箱は無限の物語を生み続けたのですしかしこよいあんたの鍵によって一なる真実が明かされますそしてそれは猫箱が開かれることを意味するまさにベアトリーチェを生きたまま腹を引き裂いてその中身をぶちまけるのと同じことってわけですそのもつ鍋パーティーにあの高速道路の渋滞みたいな大行列がベアトリーチェの有名さを驚くべきかあの連中のゲッサにヘドが出るのが先かわかりかねるのあんたにとって一なる真実の書の中身は単なるピリオドにすぎないでもロッケン島ミステリーを感激する者たちにとってはこれは見過ごせないイベントですからなるほどあれはお兄ちゃんのゲーム版を食い破ってたヤギどもの行列というわけだもんねいやベーシックに The future people of 1998 And his analogy was an anchored one The crowd far far below them、It、was made up of nobles wearing beautiful outfits and goat masks were also intent on tearing the guts out of Beatrice's cat box that it couldn't even hide the jewel tricking from their mouths. Those gluttonous goat nobles, who derived pleasure from violently exposing the truth, were in a line of cars heading towards the meeting place. Nekobako mo, Beatrice mo, Iyoyo o shimai na no ne. Beato tachi wa, game ban no saigo no kui no koshi, ogon kyo ni tate komotte mas. バトラとベアトが門番を務め第一陣を壊滅させたようですが第二陣は防げません我が主は牢城概念破壊の艦隊を与えられました How lovely. 黄金鏡の城壁などもはや風前の灯火ですあの島に湧き出したヤギたちは島に惨劇を望む未来の盲言が具現化したものそうですあのヤギたちはネットの海からいくらでも生まれてきます第一陣など所詮はうぞうむぞう The internet Oh my god Like The destruction it just It just came to me The destruction of Rokenjima in that first wave Is the equivalent of the chaos that you would see On Twitter Like on a daily basis 第二陣は違います無数のヤギたちの中から立てこもるすべての駒たち個人個人の否定に特化した再生鋭から編成しています総兵力は10万島に立てこもるほんの数十人を否定するために10万の否定を用意したのですお兄ちゃんももうおしまいね
もう覚悟はされているのでしょう後ろ宮ワトラは1986年に死んでいてあの彼は猫箱が生み出した幻想であるとうん分かってるわ Regardless of whether he is my real brother or an illusion. Regardless of whether he is who I'd like him to be or not. Bella, who created this game board for my sake, will die. No. He just means that I'll accept the fact of his death. So it's not like he's going to die now. Angie thought to herself. Shouldn't performing the last rites for her brother be her responsibility? This was her final trial, which she had assigned to herself. All those people down on the game board were the personification of Angie's naivety. By denying the existence of all of them, wouldn't she finally be able to accept the truth? No, that's not right. I'm not being honest, even with myself. Even if it's an all, even if it's all an illusion, it wouldn't make that bizarre Halloween party any less heartwarming. Only Chan said it himself. That Halloween party may have been an illusion. However, he was trying to use that party to tell me something. So no dai ni jin wa, wa ga aru chiori. 私が指揮官を務めるよう仰せつかっていますお任せをエンジさんあなた自らに手を汚させるほど我が主は陰湿ではありません Yeah, that might be kind of her These are my lingering attachments we're talking about I should be grateful to Baron Castell If she really were cruel She probably have ordered me to take charge of the second wave and execute my own family. どうしエンジ、あんたは真実の魔女なんですよね。そうよ、多分。じゃあ受け入れましょうよ。十二年を経てようやく本当の一なる真実。私はここでベルンカステルが封印を解き終えるのを気長に待つとするわおそらくはパーティーのゲストとしてあなたは呼び出されるでしょう姿見はありますのでメアニでも取ってたらどうですあんたこそ出陣前にムダ毛でも抜いてきなさいよはい。There were two figures in front of that door. It was Beller and Beato. They may not have been literally covered with wounds, but they definitely seemed to be dead tired. Beller, leaning against the door, seemed to have finally caught his breath. Beato was also sitting against the door. Letting her legs dangle gracelessly. Could a battle against the force really be called a battle? It was more like a mere pushing fight on the increasingly small bit of ground that remained. And he had wanted to protect at least Kinzo study no matter what. And the only fruit of their desperate struggle was a tiny bit of flooring that they were sitting on now. Those goats fell into the abyss whenever they had nowhere to stand. 
So now, with so much of the floor gone, there was no way for them to attack anymore. He had better fought this. His naive hopes were quickly crushed. I'm sorry, what? Stretching across the horizon, strong at the door at their backs. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I guess... Uh, you know, I had some thought before that... Okay. The goats would fall into the abyss. So either they'd use their jetpacks or they're coming in spaceships. But no, they're using fucking ships. <laughs> like ships that you'd sail on the water. Okay. <laughs> it was an encirclement of countless large sailing ships. As they could clearly see, the dicks of those ships were packed with goats. <laughs> Some of the more foolish and overeager ones piled spilling over the edges into the emptiness below. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> that's it. That is hilarious. <laughs> this story just reads my mind. I don't know. It's like this game is fucking with me right now. おそらく黄金鏡の境を打ち破る力を持つのだろう。あの大砲も張ったりではあるまい。あれでこの扉を打ち抜いて一挙に流れ込もうという<笑> Oh my god. Along the sides of each ship were several open gun ports, each with a cannon pointing at the door. Man, imagine like, uh, like those cannons. Yeah, they might shoot like normal cannon balls, but they're like at some point they're gonna be they're gonna be shooting with cannon balls uh, imbued with red shoes or blue shoes or and such. <laughs> If all the ships surrounding them were joined by even more. And all those ships fired all their cannons at once. And there was no point trying to imagine what would happen next. <laughs> Bever and Beato grimaced and hung their heads. おそらくそう安々と破れはしないのだろう。確かに幸福勧告もしないで攻撃の手を休める理由はそれしか考えられねえな。奴らが与えるこの時間が我らに有利に生かせれば良いのだがな。いや、劣勢な側にとって時間は
in metafiction and give my ideas about about the epitaph, about Beatrice, about the events of Rokinjima, about the Twilights, in all shapes and sounds, but I do have to raise my white flag and give up on this one. So please tell me, why the fuck are you in the shape of a of a competitor candy, Lana Delta? When the herd knocked on the door, it opened, and Shannon and Kanon came into view. Like, is, is nobody gonna explain explain this to me? Like, is nobody gonna explain this to me? Why why is Lambda Delta in in the shape of a compito candy? Hi, how are you? すまぬが、見張りを頼む。お任せを。奴らが攻撃を開始したら戦う必要はない。すぐに黄金鏡に逃げ込め。扉を閉めなくていい。しかし、それでは奴らは扉なんか無視して直接黄金鏡をぶっ